Anyway, Biden says he's not going to default. I don't really care about that. Let's watch we the have- Prince Harry and Meghan involved in near catastrophic car chase. And then we're going to get to Noam Chomsky. And then we're going to get to the shakeups in media. Much more information now on the situation here in New York involving Prince Harry and Meghan. We were told they were involved in a near catastrophic car chase. This is the full statement from their spokesperson. It reads, I'm just going to read the whole thing. Last night, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Ms. Raglan, that's Meghan's mother, were involved in a near catastrophic car chase at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. The relentless pursuit lasting over two hours resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians and two NYPD officers. While being a public figure comes with a level of interest from the public, it should never come at the cost of anyone's safety. Certainly the paparazzi has never caused uh, a royal to die, right? Dissemination of these images, given the ways in which they were obtained, encourages a highly intrusive practice that is dangerous to all involved. Again, the fact that this statement is coming out like this, I think the implication is that Harry and Meghan are okay, which is the first thing I think that we wanted to know for sure. But much more information. Okay, I'm just hearing now we have our senior royal correspondent, Max Foster, on the phone. Let's get to him right away for as many details as you have, Max. Uh, yeah, so you've got the main statement there. They're pretty shaken. I mean, very shaken. And um, speak, speak their spokespeople. Not stirred. You get a real sense of what way they went through last night. It happened around uh, midnight, and this was a long pursuit. Uh, several cars in blacked out windows, I understand it, in pursuit of the car which had Meghan and Harry, but also Doria Raglan um, inside. And uh, they're really, you know, I mean, frankly, you know, for Harry, this is particularly traumatizing, as you can imagine, because there are so many reminders of what his mother went through as well. And this is a similar sort of narrative in the fact that in what they're suggesting in that photographers were chasing and trying to get these pictures. And they're already making the point that this is a completely inappropriate way of getting pictures. And also, you know, a big warning, really, to anyone that wants to use these pictures, I think, frankly, from their side. Uh, so half a dozen blacked out vehicles. Uh, with unidentified people driving recklessly and endangering the convoy and everyone around them. That's what I'm hearing, the sort of thing I'm hearing from their people and people around them or people that were there. And the ch- I'm going to keep it above 50. Queen Elizabeth sends her regards. Okay. From the fucking grave, bitch. Not the not the last time she pulled this shit off, okay? That's all I'm going to say about this matter. Queen Elizabeth sends her regards. Her Royal Majesty using the uh, paparazzi to uh, assassinate. You know what this reminds me of, dude? Fucking hell. The other day, I got a fucking phone call, lads. A fucking phone call. I picked it up. Someone on the other side had a fucking posh accent, right? Fucking telling me, hey, Anki, Anki Panky, it's time. You're going to be called in for one less fucking job, yeah? I said to him, what's the fucking job? I need some money. He said, I can't tell you what the fucking job is over the phone, but it's a big one. Possibly the biggest. We're going to do a very big job. You're going to be the fucking wheel, man. It's going to give you enough money to retire. I said, you tell me what the fuck the job is. He said, you're going to kill Prince Harry and Meghan and make it seem like it was fucking Princess Diana 2.0. I said, fuck it, I'm in, lad. I'm fucking in, lad. One last job. I said, fucking metal, not Prince fucking Harry. I need Tony Chuchone for the fucking job. <laughs> We're going to make it a fucking movie, lads. 
Remind me again, who was the target? Prince Harry and Meghan! I said absolutely fucking mental! Let's do it. Anyway, um... Starring, starring Tom Hardy, Jason Statham, and Hassan Piker. It's a Royal Rumble in the cinemas immediately. <laughs> I thought he couldn't tell you the job over the phone. Yeah, well, you know, I had to, I had to time in for the drop of the song, so. Chase could have been fatal, I'm told. So they're pretty um, traumatized by all of this, and they're also talking about a whole list of different violations of road rules and laws uh they say they have evidence of this as well so i think we're going to hear a lot more about this and some repercussions from this but right now they're putting out the message that they are you know very traumatized by this but they are okay thankfully yeah i mean and max i mean it says it even involves two nypd officers which obviously on our brave boys in the blue from nypd on what they see has has happened here but just remind folks i mean one of the reasons that harry and megan moved from the uk moved to the united states was because of the long long battle that harry and megan have had with the paparazzi and what they believed was intrusion in their lives um obviously stemming from harry's long life and and horrible history with the paparazzi with his mother and then now this i mean that there is some important context around this yeah, and they are making the point that uniformed officers did approach the individuals involved here, they're saying, multiple times, and they just sped off to continue this pursuit. Um, so Harry's involved in multiple uh, cases at the moment about invasion of privacy and uh, use of illegal tactics, really, on getting stories about him and his wife, him throughout his life, really, and obviously with his wife since they got married, and how that absolutely compromised so many of their relationships. We've been hearing a lot about that. In court. The only reason why this is news is because the queen fucking killed Princess Diana identical, in an identical way, with paparazzi. Paparazzi. With MI, with MI5 agents working under the guise of paparazzi. And that's why they wanted to do a second one. But this time, they called me, the wheelman, Hank Parker. Hanky Panky. And I did it. Recently, but you know, this story really goes back to uh, it's a it job, and the, it's fucking you know, the tension hell. and the anger that both William and Harry this was MI6, about the way their mother died, but the prior one was MI5, not just the paparazzi for her death, but also the picture editors that um, created a market for paparazzi pictures. So, uh, this is deep seated trauma uh, for Harry, and um, he's you know, to put this statement out was pretty dramatic. But obviously what happened last night was something that steeply affected them. And it went on for a couple of hours, as I understand it. And basically what they're saying is they accept a heightened level of attention when they are out in public. Uh, but in this case, they exited and entered a venue publicly and paparazzi um, got their pictures. So uh, their frustration is that they're giving the media what they want uh, and then they want more and they are creating a very dangerous situation for um, the family, but also all the people the work for them and the people around them. This is one of those scenarios where is something going to have to happen? Why did these immigrants come to our country just to complain? <laughs> God damn it. Um, dude, there are so many famous people and they don't get into this kind of trouble. Why are these guys getting into this kind of trouble? Seems suspicious. That's all I'm saying. Seems suspicious. Daily Mail and Express already published the photos and then deleted the articles. Yeah, I can't wait for the fucking pro-royalist British media to, like, literally justify what they did, by the way. The Daily Mail and Express seem to be trying to hide the fact that they published paparazzi photos of Harry and Meghan leaving a ceremony in New York by taxi. Google still has the photos cached, but they've been taken down by the respective articles since the chase has emerged. The photos weren't taken at that event, and now there's hyper-intense focus on it because of the chase. They didn't want to get caught recycling old images. The photos were taken at the event, and the paparazzi took them were in the chase. Hopefully, whatever the facts in the situation, the truth will emerge quickly, and the involvement of the British tabloids, if any, will be exposed. See. Fucking hell.
Harry is literally currently in the middle of a legal battle trying to get the Metropolitan Police, London State Police to guard them while they're in the UK. It seems a bit fishy. King Charles, salam, brother. May I ask that same favor from before? <laughs> yeah. I haven't done the Noam Chomsky story yet. Um, you should watch The Psychology of Racism in Jim Crow America by then and now. YouTube is very good. No. Uh, I forgot what I was going to show you. There was another thing that I wanted to show you about the fucking Erie situation. But it's all right. Let's fucking go back to uh, CNN. Or change in the way that the, the police and we'll security take a fucking deal piece, with... Yeah. I'm, I'm taking a fucking is, piece, yeah. They're, they're yes, I am right taking now, a fucking York, piece. This is not always the type of thing you see here in the United States. Yes, we have paparazzi right. that do things here, but but to some extent, this is a fairly unique situation to the royals. Um, John, possibility that anyone will face charges on this if these paparazzi, as you said, were up on the sidewalks, mm -hmm. driving on the scooters, you know, reckless endangerment. Is there any charge that could be brought against any of them? So there's plenty of charges that could be brought mm -hmm. against them, including reckless endangerment and uh, all kinds of uh, traffic laws. Um, some of these are credentialed press, uh, which means their press cards are issued by the city of New York. Um, those press cards are issued with conditions um, that, you know, you have to abide by the rules in order to enjoy those privileges. But uh, it's a real challenge. You know, you have scooters with covered license plates. You have cars running through red lights. You have the security detail and the NYPD deliberately, and they're authorized to do that, uh, going through red lights and making turns in order to conduct, you know, evasive measures to get away from that. And then you have people who are not authorized breaking all the same laws to keep up, including running down the sidewalk. So, you know, they'll look at the videos, they'll look at the red light cameras, they'll look at other things and say, can we find a couple of persistent violators here that we can identify? Mm. But it went on for a couple of hours. It happened at night. Darkness is a factor right. in getting those images to be identifiable. Um, it was a real mess. Uh, so I'm going to say it's possible, but unlikely that you're going to see mm. a lot of that. And we are getting more information here um, talking about uh, just kind of how this went down and that when they exited the venue in the first place, the paparazzi got their pictures. They got pictures of them. Um, what makes this unusual is that New York City is usually chill. The rules are strict and the culture of New York is very public figure friendly. Yeah, there's hella fucking famous people, even more famous people than Prince Harry and Meghan in New York. Every day they have photos taken of them. And I've never in my life heard of a story where like paparazzi give chase to a, a, a famous person. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Like, fucking Justin Bieber and shit is in New York. You know what I mean? Like, it's very sus. Obviously, it's posed pictures and the paparazzi want as many pictures as possible because that's how they make money and sell those. Um, but it is interesting to note some of the things that we're seeing here. We've heard about driving on the sidewalks, running red lights, reversing down a one-way street, driving while on the phone, driving while photographer taking photos, um, and blocking moving vehicles. This is according to the spokesperson uh, for Harry and Meghan. When you see all of that... Um, that is ex not only extremely dangerous, but definitely illegal, but they were in blackout cars. We're seeing now, they're saying, oh, these were all blackouts, so you probably couldn't see faces, you couldn't, you know, identifying them may be impossible, correct? Sauce. That's right. And, you know, again, with the license plates that were covered up on motorcycles and scooters, uh, blackout cars, things like that. But, you know, I guess the question here for New York um, uh, is, all right, so... How would the NYPD do this the next time? You know, because this is a right. lesson learned, right? <clears throat> right. Um, and that means 
uh, you would probably have to have um, a slightly larger security detail because you're not just dealing with the normal threat, you're dealing with something that is more mayhem. Um, and now you would have to have basically an enforcement element added to that, which means um, traffic division people, maybe uh, a couple of motorcycles, maybe a few scooters so that you are on equal footing with the people who are the offenders here of various laws mm -hmm. where you This just in, supposed leftist community mad that royal family's life was put in danger more at 12. Wait, what? Bro. Were you like pro Princess Diana being murdered by the paparazzi or something? Like, who do you think facilitated the hit? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Wait, you're so fucking stupid. This is literally the exact same principle behind people being like, oh, wow, you want rich writers to make more money? Fuck you. Not realizing that you're literally advocating for the richer studio executives when you say that. You fucking absolute idiot. That's so funny. Like... You literally are, are losing sight of the reality that there's a bigger person at play that's more of a fucking evil person that, you know, may or may not have played a role in this. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a shit about Lout Diana. Lout? Who says Lout? No, man, they're just still royals. I, I genuinely don't understand how you can uh, <laughs> how you can take this position. You're like unironically defending the highest royal when you say who gives a shit. What the fuck? It's so weird. <laughs> Got the worst chat ever. Just ban him all, please. If Obama killed Trump, I wouldn't be upset. Same concept, brother. Wait, what? Okay, what if Trump killed Obama? You're like, nah, it's fine. You would defend Trump then? I'd be like, it's great. I'm glad that Trump killed Obama. He did nothing wrong. He's actually good now? No, you'd be like, what the fuck? That's insane. As long as her dog is upside down. Yeah, she fucking lays like that sometimes. It's so stupid. Look at how silly that is. It's such a silly way to fucking lay down. For the record, uh, it's also not the same because like both, uh, if we're looking at pound for pound, like uh, war crimes uh, we're talking about, like, yeah, uh, the dumbass went to fucking Afghanistan and is like uh, uh, openly a war criminal, Prince Harry is, okay? But... You know, the fucking royal family in that regard would be significantly larger uh, in, in war crimes. In engaging in war crimes. Can we start with the queen had Diana killed as a dumb conspiracy theory? First of all, I love conspiracy theories. And secondly, that's not a dumb conspiracy theory. That's actually a very fun conspiracy theory that has, like, definitely an element of truth in it. Also, you're an American. Have some fucking respect. Why do you want a cherished American actress like... Uh, a, a cherished American a uh, actress like Meghan Markle to be fucking uh, killed for no reason? You know what I mean? For the crime of what? Fucking a royal? Is that what you want? Fuck you, dude. I'm a goddamn American. You better not touch our assets, okay? I'll fucking drone strike you out into oblivion. You don't even understand, dude. You don't even fucking understand, brother. You touch Megan... You touch Megan... of suits, okay? And you make a fucking enemy out of me. You understand? And you don't want to make an enemy out of me, brother. The 
The conspiracy makes more sense when you assume they only killed him once they're with POC. Oh. Oh my God. Princess Diana was literally fucking uh, slated to get married to some like some Mena uh, weapons uh, dealer. That's true. You're so behind on your royal lore. Some he died in the accident. Law what? What do you, What do you mean? Murder is bad unless it's a royal who is murdered by another royal, though potentially, potentially, it's so stupid. Like it's not like it's some guy who was like, "I'm an anti-royalist." Like I'm doing. Even then, if you fucking listen, here's the here's the idiotic part of this. Okay. You want to, let's say you want to take down fucking, uh, I don't know, the institution of the monarchy, right? Like, why the fuck would you go after the two people that were like, yeah, fuck this royal shit, dog? Like, for any reason, maybe they're libbed up, maybe they're fucking annoying, and they are, okay? Prince Harry, I think his name is Harry, right? Like, he's annoying as shit, who gives a fuck? But there's like 11 different pedophile Nazis that you could go after before you went after him. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck are you doing? You, you set your sights on... It's like, like going after literally the least bad ones in a, in a sea of, like, uh, the pedophile, racist uh, dick sh uh, dickheads is, is silly. Especially because the, their crime was embarrassing the royal family by, like, you know, not inbreeding and, like, marrying a black woman. I mean, that's crazy to me. Actually, that's actually crazy that you would defend that. You know what I mean? Insane. Everyone until, everyone until they crown the true King Andrew. It's like saying JFK deserved to have his head blown off but not have any issue with the CIA military industrial complex. Yeah. Yeah, being like JFK is a war criminal. That's why I'm fucking happy with him getting blown off, his shit blown off. But it's like, who did it? Uh, why are you defending the guys who did it who are worse? Very, very weird. Very fucking weird. I, I don't really understand why you thought that that was like a good, cogent, we coherent punch point that you uh, like well thought out. And now you're like doubling, tripling, quadrupling down. Like I forgot the fucking top of the hour ad break and I'm now going to act like I didn't forget it and serve it to you and then tell you, by doubling, quadrupling, and uh, quintupling down that you can avoid those ads as long as you subscribe for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. Unless Chad really thinks Lee Harvey Oswald did it for the people. Yeah, Lee Harvey motherfucking CIA asset Oswald. Definitely. Did it for the people. Anyway. Here's a three-minute break now. Look at the red light cameras. They'll look at other things and say, can we find a couple of persistent violators here that we can identify? Mm. But it went on for a couple of hours. It happened at night. Darkness is a factor right. in getting those images to be identifiable. Um, it was a real mess. Uh, so I'm going to say it's possible, but unlikely that you're going to see mm. a lot of that. And we are getting more information here um, talking about uh, just kind of how this went down and that when they exited the venue in the first place, the paparazzi got their pictures. They got pictures of them. Um, obviously, it's posed pictures and the paparazzi want as many pictures as possible because that's how they make money and sell those. Um, but it is interesting to note some of the things that we're seeing here. We've heard about driving on the sidewalks, running red lights, reversing down a one-way street. JFK is, was an anti-communist war criminal. His death is fine by me. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm sorry. You got to be an anarchist with this kind of rhetoric. I assume, right? There's no way. It's giving anarchist. I'm looking for, like, I'm searching, like, Tanky in his chat. See if he's, like... 
calling like Marxist Leninist cringe or, or like a red fash or whatever. Mod comment. Ban for running some unhinged shit and making the community look bad. Okay, that was a joke. Nah, no Anor Kitty, sir. <laughs> yeah, I just, I realized, you know what I just realized? This guy just likes murder. <laughs> like, I, I just realized that he's just like, he's a, he's a W murder guy. He like, doesn't really care. He's like, I'm in it for the murder. Like, I think more of it should happen. Um, and that's what I like about the story. And the only thing I don't like about the story is that uh, the the prince or Megan were not murdered. You know what I mean? Or Megan's mom, who also somehow is like uh, responsible uh, and and deserves to die uh, in in the eyes of Chord Gale. Pure love of the game. He's just like a fan of murder. Fucking dumbass, dude. Okay, enough enough ridicule here. Great driving while on the phone driving then, while photographer the funniest thing is like people pop off on like the most idiotic shit in my chat and then when i call them out or yell at them after reading their dumbass takes over and over again a thousand times a day and i lose my mind a little bit and i respond in kind everyone goes hassan you're so mean to your chat meanwhile no one is clipping the moments where chat is being fucking insane you know what i mean You have to look at who's doing the murder and why they're doing the murder and whether it serves like you're, you're too stuck on who's the one who's getting murdered. You know what I mean? taking photos um, and blocking moving vehicles. This is according to the spokesperson uh, for Harry and Megan. When you see all of that, um, that is ex not only extremely dangerous, but definitely illegal, but they were in blackout cars. We're seeing now they're saying, oh, these were all blackouts, so you probably couldn't see faces, you couldn't, see, you know, identifying them may be impossible, correct? That's right, and you know, again, with the license plates that were covered up on motorcycles and scooters, uh, blackout cars, things like that. But, you know, I guess the question here for New York um, uh, is, all right, so how would the NYPD do this the next time? You know, because this is a right. lesson learned, right? <clears throat> right. Um, and that means uh, you would probably have to have um, a slight traffic division people, maybe uh, a couple of motorcycles, maybe a few scooters, so that you are on equal footing with the people who are the offenders here of various laws mm -hmm. where you can stop them. Um, and then, you know, once you start writing summonses and making arrests, you know, that's a message. Uh, this, this security detail wasn't built for that. It was built, if there was a threat, to be able to get off the X and get them to safety and deal with the threat. Um, this was a rolling circus. It wasn't a... Well, what's the good deal? They weren't a cab. The way I saw them follow the car, I wasn't surprised by the headlines. They actually went in from the side entrance. They didn't come in from the front red carpet entrance. Me and a couple other supporters ran to the back to kind of catch them walking in because we saw all the paparazzi running to the back suddenly. And it became pretty aggressive. The paparazzi had access to the garage from where they were entering and they were being kind of manhandled by the bodyguards. Why are they at a Hertz? What is this event? To prevent them from getting too close to the Sussexes. And the entire time, a lot of the paparazzi were heckling 
Meghan and Harry um, and making just negative comments, trying to get a reaction out of them. As they were leaving, just the way they chased the car, it just reminds you of like all the other scenes you've seen in the past um, with Prince Harry's mother. And it was just really upsetting. How are you living in America and you're this much of a royalist simp, by the way? Have some decency, man. What the fuck? She literally sounds like a K-pop stan. And let me tell you, fucking Jimin is the shit, okay? I ain't never heard Prince Harry sing like Jimin or dance like Jimin, motherfucker. Why are you standing this bald ginger fuck? Stan BTS for clear skin. Yeah, if it was triggering for me, I can't even imagine how it must have felt for them. The way I saw them follow the car, I wasn't surprised by the headlines. They actually went in from the side. Has BTS bombed Afghanistan and froze his dick off? Exactly. A normal threat either. This no. wasn't someone going after to hurt them. It's the people. The only bombs Jimin dropped on Afghanistan were BTS songs. You know what I mean? For the teenagers out there to listen and adore. Well, just going crazy around them, multiple people, uh, just to get pictures. Um, do we still have Kate Williams with us? I'm going to assume yes. All right, I'm here. Uh, Kate. We just heard from. Uh, I just heard from Issa Suarez, one of our CNN international anchors, who points out that. You know, Harry and Meghan have moved to the United States. A lot of the press in Britain publicly, if you read the editorials, you know, they're down on them, right? You, he you hear negative things being said mm -hmm. over there about Harry and Meghan. However, what this shows is the continued insatiable appetite for coverage, and I imagine largely in the UK, of Harry and Meghan, even as some try to turn their backs on them. Yes, I mean, the word insatiable, exactly the right word. What kind of picture were they going to get from inside a car? I mean, just a picture of someone sitting inside a car. It doesn't seem like the most saleable picture. And yet there's this huge drama, this terrifying drama. Um, uh, okay, I'm sorry. But there is not enough speculation on murder uh, happening here. And I don't like that. Like, we're Americans. We don't give a fuck about the royals, okay? We care about Megan as an American citizen, okay? Even though she is a bit of a turncoat. But ultimately, this is the fun part. Like, you're supposed to speculate about how, like, this is identical to Princess Diana and how, like, the queen has, uh, is probably uh, sending assassins uh, that she had, like a, like, a kill switch. The moment that her heart stopped pounding, like... Um events, the dominoes started falling in place and, it, it, you know, events that were uncontrollable uh, from that point on uh, were kicked into action, ultimately leading to the demise of, of uh, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, right? Like, that's, like, fun. That's fun. It's a fun way to think about, like, uh, things. And And this is not. This is like, oh no, like they need photos. They need photos. Like, I don't care about that, dude. Oh, you're going up at, you were just talking about it, reversing down streets, you know, pedestrians. Also, why is the royalist dress like this? Danger, other cars in danger, all of it happened. Also, does England not have one working mic? Both of the fucking royal correspondents that they looked at from CNN side sound like they're inside of a fucking tin can. At night, uh, just to get pictures of Harry and Meghan. They are the most valuable, uh, I would say, the most valuable celebrity picture opportunity in it for British newspapers at the moment. And a lot of this is driven about how Max was saying he's suing, how he is suing the newspapers over privacy in in invasions. So there are even a lot of <coughs> negative stories about him. There's always negative stories about Harry, but they are now, I think, driven by the fact that there is a gender because he's suing some of the newspapers about this. And Harry and Meghan have always suffered this negative media coverage. You know, we know that Meghan shutting the car door was seen as against protocol. When you look at, when you research it, many other royal women have shut the car door. And they are, I think, completely, they are, they are, this is the thing. 
even though Meghan didn't come to the coronation, even though Charles wanted it to be all about him, a lot of the coverage is about Harry. The world is fascinated with Harry and the British press want pictures of Harry. And this is what paparazzi are doing to get them. And it is so many shades of Diana.